Morning, Princeton Intermediate. This is Tiger Pride News. I'm Sterling. Today is Wednesday, December 2nd, 2020. We're in week one. Birthdays for today, Jocelyn Olson, Tristan Welker, Claire Whitcomb. So we have a really a little bit different TPN broadcast look and feel. Um, Sterling and I are, are taking care of today and the next few days um, of the broadcast. But for example, lunch. What are we having for lunch today? Well, I, I have no idea what you're having for lunch today, but I hope you have a healthy lunch and get outside and have some fun today as well. Good news shout out from Mrs. Klemke. Jace is showing great responsibility during these first days of distance learning by completing his work, responding to emails, showing up for Zoom meetings, taking on extra activities and more. I'm so proud of him and the initiative he is showing. It is wonderful to see him grow and thrive. Keep up the great work, Jace. A little trivia, did you know that um, beaver's front teeth are orange? And it's not just because they have terrible dental hygiene. To gnaw through tree trunks, uh, they need, have ex need extra strong teeth. Fortunately, their tooth enamel contains iron, which makes them incredibly strong, sharp, and orange. Because the orange enamel of the front teeth wears away more slowly than the white dentine on the back, a beaver's teeth shelf self sharpen as the chews on tree. Good news shout out from Mrs. Link. Preston has shown, had shown such growth in their participation in Zoom meetings and I am thankful that he shows up at each meeting, does his independent work and is extremely polite during class when asking questions. Thank you. So with this new format, we have an opportunity to share the um, screen here. I want to share a screen with you and share with you um, a little bit of the wildlife videos from um, back in um, earlier November. And so I'm going to share the screen here and take, have, take a look at that. Here we go. So this is an example of a muskrat, the smaller animal in front, and the beaver approaching. Looks almost like an alligator sneaking up on that little animal, but both of them just end up swimming away. But if you take a look at this video, you get a chance to, these are shared in our weekly update. The whole list of um, videos are, you, you can see in this one, you can actually see that orange teeth. It's kind of cool. Anyway, so ask your parents if you want to take a look at those videos, or maybe your teacher has been sharing them with you as well. Uh, we'll go back to the um, slides. Good news shout out from Ms. Valerius. Brayden continues to do an exceptional job with his work, even though we have switched to distance learning. He always goes above and beyond with his work and his level of participation. Thank you, Brayden, for all your great work. Keep it up. So this is a much different um, way of learning. Uh, we did a little bit of this in March, but this whole distance learning thing, I want to encourage you to continue showing Tiger Pride. So I'm going to talk about just one part of showing Tiger Pride when we're doing our distance learning. So one way to respect yourself um, is to have that daily routine set up. You have the schedule from your teacher, um, follow that schedule, find a great place to work that has, a, maybe you're up against the wall, so you have a background that is um, uh, clear and um, be able to complete your work and get the things done on time. And just take breaks and be active too. We don't want you sitting in front of a computer screen all day long either. So just some tips on how to respect yourself during this distance learning time. Riddle, why was the broom late? It overswept. All right, we're going to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We belong, we are Tiger Strong.